scientific evidence of the extraordinary man-made land built by the Tongan Empire at the Empire's capital, Mua Tangatapu. The addition of soil layer used to hold the slabs and the old lagoon edge. So remember, this is the Pai Pai is on Ponuatan. This on is ocean. where what yeah, ocean this, is. this is technically yeah. should have been ocean. Yes. And so this red right here represents the end of the old or the shoreline mm. before they extend it. And remember, this goes on for much more. This is just yeah. coming down of the shoreline and it goes much deeper. So 100 acres, once again, right? 100 yeah, acres? 100 acres overall. So once again, this is not just, oh, the five five is great, but it's built on basically man-made land, which makes it even more sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, south profile um, showing reclaimed, see? Reclaimed land deposit of coral and limestone boulders, limestone debris, uh, a soil deposit added to hold the slabs of the nearby tomb and charcoal. We're talking about importing different kinds of material to stabilize um, and to hold mm. the pi pi together. So once again, Look this is different a, materials to yeah, when they bury. And, and gives a level of civil engineering. This is civil engineering that's going yeah. on here. Understanding how different materials interact with each other to build a stable overall product. Uh, geochemical analysis of the carbonate crust and limestone flake from indicated that right here, the cemented crust is limestone debris, which was produced by shaping the tomb blocks. Mm. So cemented crust, like we're saying, there was oral history that there was a cement used on Present. these rocks. Mm. Um, mm. So that's another thing that's tied to oral history, gives a little more validity to that oral account. 